Saga is a fascinating duck of a game. Not only is it written by a man unironically named Rowan Walking Wolf, it's by far one of the most anarchistic, anarchy-filled, non-games I've ever had looked at here. Saga is a generic system, part of a long legacy of games designed to play other settings in, and Rowan Walking Wolf, sticking to the true generic system, decided to make it so there isn't actually a true resolution mechanic. Yes, technically, no kind of dice are actually given, only that they are the same kind of dice, such as only D6s, D10s, D12s, or D17s, the works. The unique aspect comes in with the skill system. Normally, the general skills cover everything in a particular niche, such as combat and melee, but you can choose to specialize the character skills down to as long as they are averaged out. So, for example, I have a 6 in melee combat. I could have 3 in short blades, but a 9 in maces. If I'm using a mace, I'll roll 9 dice. If I'm using short blades, Blades, only three. Everything else? Six. I kind of like Rowan Walking Wolf's ideas here. It gives a bit of nuance per character, where having a six in a skill may mean you're really damn good in some places, and really bad in others. Combined with the only opposed roll resolution system, so you're always rolling dice against each other, this may seem like it's doing pretty well. No, Pad, you saying this game is anarchy filled, what does that actually mean? You generate characters by writing it down? Yeah, there really isn't any kind of character generation in the entire system, outside of just saying X, Y, and Z and writing it down. Now, this may invite true open generic, but what happens is that it makes the GM having to wing it for a majority of things, with having to literally add restrictions to run the game in a relatively balanced way. This anarchy-filled game Rowan Walking Wolf has created still has stuff in it. This is the most basic overview of things, but I'll go into a few more bits Rowan has added to the mix. The luck attribute, for example, is a randomly determined at points, but either is a solid luck attribute is used, a random 1d10 roll, or possibly another skill entirely is employed. So, for example, I fire a bow and see where it hits. I may roll a 1d10 to determine the luck, which is then the difficulty meaning that may be insane or not. The combat attempts to be realistic as well, with things such as hit locations being important. There are three rolls to make for every single attack in the game. A roll to hit, a roll to bypass armor, and finally, a roll to wound, each of which tracks separate values of an individual weapon and armor to consider. This isn't even factoring in that the multiple bonuses and penalties, combined with the sneak attack mechanic, which can potentially result in an insta-kill, or the flame resist her armor. There isn't even actually any health mechanics to back this up, by the way. Nothing. It's just gone as it just inflicts wounds, which don't do anything. However, if you get hit in the head, there is a system in place for it. There is also an entirely different mass combat system, about four of them technically, as well, using a series of cards, keeping track with individual soldiers in a unit, and in a literal war game system, stapled onto this mess, which uses its own set of dice, by the way. An entire separate system for hunger, thirst, fatigue system, a plethora of firearms, and an absurd number of modifiers, even different systems for magic, including playing magic. Magic the Gathering. Saga baffles me, truly baffles me as a game, but it exists. It's a game that manages to combine everything together in a Cronenberg abomination of God, pleading it to be killed. Overall, Saga seems confused. It doesn't know what it wants to be, only that it wants to do everything, but instead, Rowan Walking Wolf only manages to make it a confusing mess. My name is Nopad Anna, and this was Saga by Rowan Walking Wolf. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Rowan Walking Wolf is, in fact, not a furry. I don't think, but there is a non-zero chance he actually is.